Attention, please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles, G. Pitchell. Follow us. Alexander Armstrong and a very warm welcome to Pointless, the quiz show where popular answers mean nothing and obscure answers mean everything. Let's meet today's players. Well, we welcome back Karen and Glenn. You're our first pair today. You were on the show last time. Everyone gets two chances to reach the final and this is your second chance. Remind us how you did. We crashed out in the first round in a bit of a snookered situation. By the time it had come back, in the second part of the first question, there just wasn't anything left on the board that we could give that would have seen us. You were, yeah, you were snookered. You were stymied. Is that the word? Is that a mm. word? Yeah, stymied. Yeah, you were stymied. <laughs> this time, who knows what might happen. Karen, what are you hoping might come up? Um, films, I think. Films. Um, I like cooking. Um, yeah, anything like that, really. Very, very best of luck to the pair of you. Thank I'm pretty sure we'll see a lot more of you this time. I really so. hope so. Fingers crossed. And next, we welcome Sophie and Adam. How do you two know each other? Um, we became friends at secondary school, and despite going to different universities now at the opposite ends of the country, um, we stay good friends. Um, what do you do in your, in your spare time? Well, obviously, we, we know you're, you're students. What are you studying? Um, I'm doing medicine at the moment. Um, so I don't have much spare time. But, um, Indeed. I'm what year are you in? Third year now. Third year. Oh, it's just getting busier and busier. Yeah. Adam, how about you? Uh, I do marketing at the moment, and I did uh, electrical engineering before. Very well done. Well, it's great to have you here. Very best of luck. Enjoy the show. And next, we welcome Stephen and Gary. You were on the show last time. This is your second chance to reach our final. Uh, remind us what happened to you last show. We went out in the second round. Um, unfortunately, it was a very popular subject. Um, it was films, and every team was strong on it. You just happened to be the highest scorer. Yeah, yeah very not, not my strongest subject films, no, but you did I got, well though. Got a right answer. It wasn't good enough, but in the first round on the previous show, Gary did get a point with Santa. So hopefully we can get a couple more this See time. See if you can do that a couple more times and add some more money to our jackpot. Well, very best of luck to the pair of you. It's great to have you here. Thank you. And finally, we welcome John and Roger. How do you two know each other? Well, uh, long story really, but 14 years ago. I started a quiz night. I was quiz master in a brand new pub in Lincoln, and John was one of the first teams to uh, sit and listen to me, somewhat badly, I suppose. But... So, Roger, you, you remain the quiz master, do you? Yes. Now, do you? I mean, quiz master to quiz master, do you remember any of the things you ask people? No. No. <laughs> Not at all. Nor do I. <laughs> um, what do you do, John? I'm a health and safety officer. I am so pleased. Finally, we have got health and safety in, Richard. <laughs> it's about time, isn't it? Not until now have we had someone sensible here just to keep us on the straight and narrow. <laughs> what do you make of those steps next to you, John? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Anyway, very best of luck to you, John and Roger. It's great to have you here. We'll find out more about all of you throughout the show. There's only one person left for me to introduce. He lives by the mantra, if it's unusual or obscure, then tell me more. He's my pointless friend. <laughs> He's Richard. Hiya. Hello. Hello there. The very best of the afternoon to you, sir. Yeah, and to you. Show 153 in a very special show. Very special. A very special show. What's it looking like, Richard? Well, it's going to be good. The most important thing, biggest jackpot ever on Pointless. Our biggest ever jackpot today. Uh, we've got two returning pairs. Uh, we didn't see uh, enough of either of them, I think. I think they're two very strong pairs, actually. They were both quite unlucky, I thought. And two new pairs as well. Somebody might well be walking home with uh, rather a lot of money this afternoon, which would be wow. fantastic. That really would be. 
here goes. Maybe it will happen this afternoon. Now, we've put all our questions to 100 people before the show, but this is pointless, so we are after the obscure answers they didn't get. Now, what everyone's trying to do, of course, is find a pointless answer. That's an answer that none of our 100 people gave, and each time that happens, we will add £250 to the jackpot. Now, as Richard said, nobody won the jackpot last time, so we add another £1,000 to that. So today's jackpot starts off at a record-breaking £13,250. <laughs> <sighs> right, let's play Pointless. Right, in the first round, each of you must give me one answer and you cannot confer with your partner. Whichever team has the highest score at the end of the round will be eliminated, so be very careful that's not you. If anyone gives me an incorrect answer, they will score the maximum of 100 points. OK, our first category this afternoon is TV soaps. Can you all decide in your pairs who's going to go first, who's going to go second? And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. OK, let's find out what that question is. We gave 100 people 100 seconds to name as many characters in EastEnders live episode as they could. Richard? Yeah, we're looking for any named and credited character who appeared in the first ever live episode of EastEnders in February 2010. Uh, we're looking for the character names, not the actors' names. And sometimes those characters' names have changed. We'll take previous names if you have them. But we want first names and surnames, please. Right. Karen and Glenn, you all drew lots before the show, and today you get to go first. Karen, crucial question, are you an EastEnders viewer? No, I don't watch it at all. OK. Well, what's the most obscure and likely character you can think of to have been in that live episode? I'm going to have to go with... Pauline Fowler. Pauline Fowler. Well, let's see if it's right. And if it is, how many people said Pauline Fowler? Oh, dear. Unfortunately, Pauline Fowler is an incorrect answer. That means you score the maximum of 100 points. Richard? Uh, yeah, very, very long-running character, um, Pauline Fowler, but left the show in 2006. Now, Sophie, are you an EastEnders viewer? Um, very much not, I'm afraid. So, yeah, I'm going to probably go on the side of likely rather than obscure. But fingers crossed. <laughs> dot cotton. You're going to go dot cotton. Let's see if that's a correct answer. And if it is, let's see how many people said it. It's right. <laughs> 17. <laughs> well done, Sophie. Dot Cotton, a correct answer, scores you 17. Richard? Uh, yeah, well played, Sophie. This is going to turn into a round of which EastEnders characters can you remember? <sighs> Stephen, does that smile mean you watch it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I plucked a few names out, and I'm going to go with um, Max Branning. Max Branning? Yeah. OK, well, you're hoping to score as few points as possible with Max Branning. You're hoping it's a correct answer. Let's see if it is. And if it is, let's see how many people said Max Branning. Good luck. It's right. It's right, Stephen. Down it goes to 18. <laughs> Very good answer. If it was a guess, extremely... Fortuitous guess that scores you 18. Richard Max yeah, Branning. Yeah, well played, Stephen. Max Branning played by Jake Wood. It's quite a big score because he was a uh, had a very major role in that particular episode. Max Branning. Now then, Roger, yeah. we come to you. Remember, we're looking for characters who featured in the live EastEnders episode. I'll go for an easy one, and hopefully it'll be there. It's got to be Phil Mitchell. Phil Mitchell. Yeah. Let's see if Phil Mitchell's right. And if it is, let's see how many people said Phil Mitchell. Well done, Roger. Correct answer. 24. That'll do. 24 points for Phil Mitchell. Richard. Yeah, played by Steve McFadden. It's been there since 1990, but a very big score, one of the most popular characters. 
OK, well, we're halfway through the round, so let's take a look at the scores as they stand. On 17, Sophie and Adam, there they are, the very best answer. Just ahead of them on 18, Stephen and Gary, very good. And up a tiny little bit from that, we come to Roger and John on 24. And then way, way, way out front, bad luck, Karen. So, Glenn, you have got to hope that somebody else gets an incorrect answer and you have got to find the lowest score you possibly can. We're going to come back down the line. Can the second players please take their places at the podium? OK, remember, we are looking for characters who featured in the live episode of EastEnders in 2010. John, do you watch EastEnders? Um, not recently, no. You didn't Used watch to. the live watch episode. It, but... the, the live episode, the landmark EastEnders. Did you watch it even if it was just to watch people forgetting their lines? <sighs> Jack Branning. Jack Branning. OK, we've had Max Branning. You're putting forward Jack Branning. Here's your red line. If you can get below that red line with Jack Branning, you are through, safe and sound, to the next round. Let's see if Jack Branning's right, and if it is, let's see how many people said Jack Branning. Well done, it's right. And you are through to the next round. Thirteen. Very well done. Our lowest score so far. That takes your total up to 37. Richard Jack Branning. Yeah, well played, John. Played by uh, Scott Maslin, of course, who went on to be in Strictly Come Dancing. He was actually one of the actors who, who noticeably fluffed his lines. <laughs> OK. We are looking for characters in the live EastEnders episode from last year. It was a, it was a, it was a benchmark episode, something like their thousandth episode or something like that, wasn't it? It's the 25th anniversary, though, essentially. 25th anniversary. Yeah. Listen, Richard, when we do our 25th anniversary pointless... Yeah. Um, I mean, it'll be, there'll, there'll be different presenters then, obviously, because we'll, uh, I'll be... Well, still, I'll still be... there will be a different presenter, yeah. <laughs> be David Mitchell or that lovely... I'll tell you who I like. Yeah. Uh, ben Miller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good. He's very good. He's very funny, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. He's quick. He's quick. He is ben quick. Miller's thing, and bright. He's quick, he's bright, he's, he's charismatic and charming. He is, isn't he? Mm. Why didn't you get him? Yeah, we can't, like we could afford Ben Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> now then, <coughs> Gary, EastEnders, is this a... Is this I'll a... probably watch it more than I should, yes. This is... That's a very, very honest answer. I think it's time to play safe. I'm going to hope this is a reasonably safe one. And I'll go for Roxy Mitchell. Roxy Mitchell, Stephen thinks that's good. Here is your red line. If you can get below that red line with Roxy Mitchell, you are through to the next round. Let's see if Roxy Mitchell's right. And if it is, let's see how many people said it. It's right, and you're through. Very well done. Lovely low score there, Gary. Fantastic. Roxy Mitchell scores you 10, takes your total up to 28.